every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I'm giving you. Every step I take, I'm taking you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I'm giving you. today for this version, this week's version of Sunday School. Today's focus will be Jesus wants to live in us and we'll be reading Matthew 26 verses 26 through 35. Our key verse is 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 24 to 25. This is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. The cup is the new promise made with my blood. Every time you drink from it, do it to remember me. And now, we bring you a brief presentation. Good morning, you wonderful looking people out there in TV land. Two. Welcome to Eyewitness News, K-I-N-G. This is... News anchor Gordy reporting from Jerusalem, Passover week, 3080. And with me today is Benjamin Hempley. How are you doing, Benjamin? You can call me Ben. I'm Ben Helping lately. That's, that's what I understand. You have been helping lately. Can you tell us more? Well, it all started when my wife, Needs Summer, tells me that we never have any friends over for dinner. Let me see if I have that right. Your wife, Needs Summer, helpingly, helping lately, says she wants company? Sure, I tell her. Boy, they. It's Passover week. And there's so much to get ready for us to have that special Passover meal. So I says to her, okay already. Unless God tells me otherwise, we'll have someone over after Passover. So when's the dinner planned after Passover? Oy vey. That's the strange thing. God did tell me to have someone over for pass the Passover meal. You see, the rabbi Jesus sent some of his disciples to me to say he's coming to a Passover meal at my house. Wow, I bet Needsama was excited. Yes and no. She was excited that her house, I mean our house, would be used for Jesus and his 12 disciples' Passover meal. But it was their special time together, so they wanted to be alone. And oy vey, my wife needs some helping lately, really did need some helping lately, getting used to not having Passover with the famous Jesus. So we gave them an upper room where they could celebrate Passover 
just by themselves. What do you think is going on to be so special about Jesus celebrating the Passover meal with his disciples? Well, they will be remembering how God was with our people and brought them out of the land of slavery. Land of slavery? Oy vey. Who is this big, stupid lug? I'm talking about the land of slavery, Egypt. Passover is about remembering how God was with us and freed our people. But now listen to Rabbi Jesus talk about how he, want, how he wants to be a part of our lives and free us from our own land of slavery. Egypt? Oh, a brain of, of donkey? He was talking about slavery to sin. We don't live in Egypt anymore. So, Mr. Halpin, lately, is this freedom from sin thing what he's talking about in the Passover meal? Well, when I left there was some talk about him giving himself as a new kind of Passover, his body and his blood. Boy, vey. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I, I figure I'll get need some helping lately, and she can explain it to me. And folks, there you have it. Something special is happening at Passover meal as Jesus wants to be part of his disciples' living lives, lives by making a new Passover. Let's go to live coverage on the scene with with is Gordy and Ben Hope and Lately and Donkey Burns. I mean Mr. King. Reporting for K K I N G Eyewitness News. So now we'd like to tell you a little bit about the the story from Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 to 35. Institution of the Lord's Supper. Now as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again for the, of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Jesus foretells of Peter's denial. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered him, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all the disciples said the same. Hello, I'm Ela, KIMG's eyewitness reporter. I'm still in Jerusalem, hot on the trail of Jesus. Today is the feast of the Passover, and I'm standing outside this ordinary looking building. From what I understand, something extraordinary has taken place inside. Let me see if I can talk to an eyewitness and find out exactly what took place. Why is everybody standing around here? Who's inside there that everyone wants to see? Inside there, Jesus and his disciples. What are Jesus and his disciples doing in there? They're celebrating the Passover feast with a meal. You know, I'm looking for furniture. Mm -hmm. Furniture for my dining room. What were the table and, ch and chairs looking like? Low table. Jesus and disciples sat on the floor. I heard that Jesus did something amazing with the bread, and they were serving what I... What did Jesus do? He gave thanks, broke bread, and, and said, Take! Eat! This is my body! 
Wait, I just heard someone say about the cup. Can you tell me what Jesus did with the cup? He gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, This is my blood, which is poured for the forgiveness of the sins. Were you close enough to hear Jesus talking to his disciples? What did he tell them? Jesus said they would leave him that very night. Why would the disciples leave Jesus? They loved him and were always with him. What did the disciples say to Jesus? They said they would never leave him. Wait a minute. What about Peter? What did Jesus say to Peter? Jesus told Peter that he would deny him three times before the rooster crows. I bet that kind of hurt Peter's feelings. What did Peter say? Even if I have to die with you, I will never deny you. Wow, Peter must love Jesus very much. Thanks for the help of these great eyewitnesses. I think we have a great good idea of what happened inside the building today. Jesus and his disciples celebrated the feast of Passover together upstairs. While they were eating, Jesus did something incredible. He took the bread and gave thanks, then broke it. He, he told his disciples that it was the body that was going to be broken on the cross. Then he put the cup. He gave thanks and she gave it to his disciples. He told them it was his blood that was going to be shed for the forgiveness of their sins. Amazing. Jesus not only shared the Passover meal with his disciples, he shared himself and the plan, of, plan for salvation. It was the table that Jesus told the disciples he was going to die for our sins. We would have everlasting life through his death. You know, I've been to a lot of fancy dinner parties, but none were ever as awesome as the king's table. That's all for now. I'm going to find Jesus no matter what it takes. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this amazing story. This is Eli, K-I-N-G's Eyewitness Reporter. Reporter Eli, back from live coverage, we've seen something special. We sure have. Jesus has just given his disciples a new meal to celebrate. It will be for all believers who need some helping lately. What kind of help do, does Jesus give us? Jesus wants us and wants to live in us. This meal shows us that. He says that when we eat this meal, we remember that his body and blood were given for us on the cross. We remember that Jesus lives inside us. That means Jesus is living right here in my life? It sure does. And what better helping could we have lately? This is reporter Eli signing off and happy to have been helping lately. But it's time to sign off anyway. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> and goodbye from KING's Eyewitness News Reporting. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that we can be served at the King's table. What an honor. Thank you that you invite us to be part of that meal because you want to be real in our lives. You gave your body and blood and the cross for each one of us because you love us so much. Thank you that we can be certain in our hearts that you died especially for each one of us. Thank you for working faith in our hearts as we pray. Amen. And thank you everyone for joining us.
on this wonderful Sunday morning. We hope and pray that you have a wonderful week. Until next time, see you later. Bye. Praise. Praise. All praise. All praise you, Lord, forever. Praise. All praise. All praise you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh, I'll do my best for you. Oh, oh, oh. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Oh, I'll do my best for you. Serve. Serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord.